Hi everyone, it's Dr. Ozzy here. Welcome to the More Than a Pretty Face podcast. Well, hey guys, I am back again, part two with my SD bestie. We are going to cover so much more in this episode, all about double cleansing, comedones, and more to come. Let's jump back into it. Okay, so on to the last question. Hi, Dr. Ozzy. I'm a new listener to your podcast and I'm already loving it. I want to ask about closed comedones, those tiny little skin colored bumps on my forehead and chin that never seem to go away. I get deep cleansing facials every two months and I get all the comedones extracted and boom, they come right back. I tried a cleave and other acids all over the counter products, but nothing works. I want to ask, what are these stubborn things? Is it genetic? What can I do? Thank you. So what do you think, Selena? This is yeah, so it's like the little things like that bother people. It's always the little things, exactly. And nobody else probably sees them on her skin. Just yeah. She hyper focuses and we all do it. That's right. I do it. <laughs> so yeah, what so, do you think of those? So if there are little skin colored bumps on your forehead, they might not even be closed comedones or... Right. They could be... What milia. Else is, yeah, they could be milia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These are like these little Balls white of cysts. Uh-huh. underneath the skin that... Mm-hmm won't come out on your own. That even if how hard you try to extract them, typically you have to give them an exit. Yeah, you do. And sometimes that's really the only way to get them out is see your esthetician or your dermatologist. And how do you, how do you treat them? What do you do? So exfoliation, um, things like retinol should help, um, even salicylic acid. But she's saying that she's tried a cleaf and other acids. Yeah, a cleaf is pretty... It's um, a strong one. Pretty strong one. That one should take take care of it. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I think what happens is a lot of people don't give it enough time yes. or they don't use it often enough. If your skin is truly retinized, and that's a term dermatologists use, what that means is your skin has changed as a result of a retin-A and is no longer clogging like it was, but it can take honestly three months, six months for that retinization to happen. And you have to use it at least five times a week for that to occur and pretty consistently. So if you're taking like doing a week, taking two weeks off, a week, doing two weeks, you know, that's not going to cut it. You really have to be consistent. I tell patients, put it next to your toothbrush. You know, you're going to brush your teeth every night before bed. That's when you should use it. Uh, And so I think that's part of it. I don't think people really give it enough time. What about oils? Oils aren't ideal, especially if you are getting, if you're prone to clogged pores, if you're prone to comedones, whether they be open or closed, whiteheads or blackheads. Yes, agree. Especially in the summer. What happens is the oils mix with the moisture in the air and it creates this waxy complex that clogs the pores. And so if you're using oils, now oil cleansers are different, Oil right? cleansers are different. Because you're washing that you're off. Wa- yes. But avoid oils if you're prone to milia and blackheads or, or whiteheads like comedones. What about Vaseline? You see people slugging. Vaseline. I don't know how I feel about it. I love it for myself but I also have extremely dry skin. <laughs> right. And you're not getting comedones. And I don't get mil- comedones. Yeah. So if you're prone so- to milia, avoid heavy occlusives like Vaseline. And like you said, if, if you're already doing Retin-A, maybe add an acid, right? Yeah. If Into your skin your- tolerates. Right. So what I, what I would do is add an acid like one or two times a week. Skip your Retin-A at that the day that you exfoliate with an acid. I love the Clarify pads because yes. they have salicylic acid, which is oil soluble and does a great job at, you know, really cleaning out your pores so they don't clog. And it also has glycolic acid, which is great for anti-aging, hyperpigmentation. So using the Clarify pads, start off just once a week, then go to twice a week if your skin tolerates it. But try to skip your Retin-A just the days that you do it. Now, some people can tolerate it, some right? Some people do tolerate yeah, it. Yeah, they can use the Clarify pads in and the morning, use the, and yeah, do their exactly. retinol at night. At night. So those are things to try. Just be cautious of also how many products you're layering on. We want you to know that the less you put on your skin, the better, right? Because if you're just layering product after product and then you're covering it up with foundation, that's just a lot of stuff on your skin. Less is more. Less is more. So instead of, for example, I stopped using foundation three years ago and only use 
Only Hydro Tint BB, BB. Cream. Same. That's what I have on right <laughs> now. It on. makes my skin super dewy. And I and if I get shiny, which I'm probably shiny around now because I'm hot and it's humid, <laughs> I could use my um, sun kissed sun kissed or powder SPF brush to soak up that extra moisture and oil. Yes. So be cautious of how much you're actually layering and on. And comprehensive skincare, like Doctor yes. Ozzy's Ozzy MD. I find that I don't need. 10 different serums. I use a skin tide in the morning or a vitamin C, like the Aluma C. Right. Yeah. The less, you know, products and how you can achieve that is using a product that has all those ingredients in the one product. Yes. Because again, the more you expose your skin to the inactives, to the preservatives, to all these things that are in products, the more likely you are to disrupt your skin barrier, the more likely you are to get clogged pores and all those things. So Last thing we didn't touch on about clogged pores and milia is double cleansing, right? Yes. yes. So tell us about what double cleansing is and why that's important. So double cleansing is important just because you're exposed to the day. Mm -hmm. So that first cleanse really gets off the day. So whether that be the pollution in the air, your makeup, whatever it may be. Sunscreen. Sometimes sunscreen, sunscreen is hard to get off. It like is. that physical sunscreens are Absolutely. hard. Absolutely. And then the second cleanse kind of addresses your skin concern. So I like to start my first cleanse with a purifying cleanser. And mm -hmm. then my second cleanse, I'll do the exfoliating cleanser. Yeah, that's a great combo. And I like to apply the purified cleanser on dry skin yes. because it has a very silky, lotiony texture and you apply it to dry skin and it does a great job of removing the oil, the debris, the makeup off. Other things you can use are oil-based cleansers. There's a lot of different lines that carry them. ISDIN has mm -hmm. one. Uh, would you have some other oil-based cleansers? That you MD like? came out with one that I love right mm, now. Okay. Um, I'm using that one. And then micellar water is another micellar. option. So People if you have, micellar. if it's summertime, for example, and you don't want to use an oil cleanser, you can use just Micellar water, which is just mild surfactants in with a little bit of water, and the surfactants help lift that makeup off. So I love that for the summer. I love Bioderma has a great one. CeraVe has a great micellar water as well as La Roche Posay. Yes. Um, what about just? I know we said don't use oils, okay? <laughs> what about just oils? Like just using like olive oil. Let's 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 do a J Lo sort of. <laughs> All I mean, oil, it'll definitely break your, it down, it but will. I don't know how well it'll come off. You know, it's not a bad option. Like, I, I prefer grapeseed oil if you're mm -hmm. going to use a natural oil to get your makeup off of grapeseed oil. Now, what's different about using an oil to remove makeup versus using an oil and leaving it on is that you're going to wash the oil off, right? Yes. So if you have super dry skin, you can use a little grapeseed oil, get your makeup off, and then use a gentle cleanser or like a purified cleanser to get all that oil off. So that's different than, mm. you know, applying the oil, leave it on. But <laughs> double cleansing is really key for cleaning out your pores. If you yes. don't clean out your skin, you start to get buildup in the pores, like the makeup, the debris, the pollution, like Selena said, will start to get compacted into those pores and it can actually stretch out your pores, making yes. your pores bigger. So double cleansing at the end of the day is really important if you wear makeup, sunscreen, just, just in general. What about the morning? Morning, not necessary. Not necessary, guys. You don't even need to cleanse in the you morning. Because if you do one deep cleanse, then that's good enough. What about yeah. after workouts? After workout, yes. yes. Or, or something like the Clarify Pads, just a quick wipe down. So mm -hmm. remove all that oil, the buildup. Yeah, the Clarify workout. Pads are great because it's 60 pre-soaked pads. You can throw it in your gym bag and just wipe quick down after down. if you don't have time to cleanse. But again, getting the moisture and the sweat and, you know, potentially yeast that loves yes. to grow after your workouts are really important if you're prone to breakouts. So I think this was really good. You're doing great, Asti Vesti. <laughs> <You're kidding. laughs> Thank you. I'm very proud of you. I know I know this is not your day job. No, so it is not. Your day job is being <laughs> the best esthetician a dermatologist could ask oh. for. All right, guys, this is a great opportunity to remind you you can get a free $25 gift card for Aussie MD skincare online just for submitting your glowing selfie. Click the share your story button on the slide on the main page of AussieMDSkincare.com fill out the form and send us photos of your before and after. You can also fill the form out by scrolling down to the bottom of the website and click share your skincare story 
under helpful links. When you submit your form and it's approved, you'll get a $25 gift card. So spend it however way your heart desires at aussiemdskincare.com. Again, look for share your skincare story to get started. So I thought it would be really fun to play a game. Let's do a slay or nay. If you love it, you tell me slay. If you don't love it, you don't like it, give me a nay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. At home face shaving. Nay. 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 (laughs) People love to do the at home shaving and it's not always good. It can it, cause problems. It causes some skin types. a lot of irritation. Um, it doesn't do nearly as much as an in office dermaplaning would ever do. In office dermaplaning removes that top layer of dead skin. It's a great exfoliation, and then as the bonus, it removes the peach fuzz. So you just okay, fair enough. Much better in the <clears> office. Fair enough. <laughs> Essential oils. Nay, just Nay. because they could cause more irritation, and people get adverse effects all the time from fragrances, oils. So I would just stay away. Poor vacuum. Poor vacuums. We saw a lot of this during COVID. (laughs) We saw a lot of adverse effects with poor vacuums. I would say nay. Yeah, it can cause some damage to the skin. Yes. Dermaflash spatula. No, I have a Dermaflash spatula in the treatment room and I love it. So (laughs) I would say slay. It's gentle. It's good for those young clients who can't really handle extractions well. Mm -hmm. So I say slay. Slay, yeah. New face. Again, slay. I don't know if it does a ton. It doesn't hurt, But it doesn't hurt. People love it. It's something, you know, to do at home. I always say new face is, like, if you work out with a personal trainer and for, like, two hours straight, that's, like, an in-office treatment. Whereas if you just take a light stroll around the block, that's, like, new face. Yes. So, you yeah, know, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah. At home, red lights for skincare, like LED lights. I would say slay. Again, yes. they don't do as nearly as much as our in office LEDs, but they don't hurt. Yeah. And, and how often should people do those, the red LEDs? Three times a week? Sure. <laughs> I usually say three times a week for like 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yes. What about facial lymphatic drainage? Slay. It doesn't hurt, but if you have things like active acne or rosacea, the lymphatic drainage can be a little rough and irritating. So just be gentle, make sure you're using a good glide, especially with like the gua sha's. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, if you do have acne, you know, that friction and rubbing that you do with the gua sha, it could potentially make your acne worse. Or if you have rosacea, that friction on the skin can cause broken capillaries and redness. So be cautious of that. What about intraoral buckle massage? I've seen those videos. For me, nay. Nay? I can't put my you hand in somebody's that? mouth. Oh. But <laughs> if somebody's what? I was just going to say, we should bring that into the office because we don't do those oh now. Oh my gosh. I'm, I don't think, I no? don't know. It's like <laughs> dentistry. Yeah, you see people doing that. That it, I don't know. It's, you get a lot of stretching if you're like, yeah. these people like really go in get there. Get in there. And really, yeah. um, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that. I, I think the less you stretch out the skin, the better. Maybe if you're, twi- it, if you're yeah. like in your 20s, right? Sure, maybe. I, 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 don't, I don't know. know I, want... I don't really know though. All right, guys, let's wrap it up. This was so fun. <laughs> Are you going to come back? Oh my goodness, I think so. This was fun. It was a lot of fun. I hope you had a good time. <laughs> you did awesome. Thank it was you. so fun having you yes. on the podcast. All right, guys, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. We truly appreciate your listenership. It is what keeps the podcast going. So if you find a lot of value in these podcasts, share it with a friend because sharing is caring. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube and subscribe as well as follow us on Instagram at more than a pretty face podcast. We do a lot of skincare giveaways. In fact, we have one going on right now. So don't forget to check us out. If you have questions you're wanting us to answer, send us an email or or a DM on Instagram at more than a pretty face podcast or more than a pretty face podcast at gmail.com. Until next time. Thanks guys. Bye.